Good morning, and welcome to Flannel Hill Farm. Um, for anybody that's new here, my name is Brittany, and we are building, I guess you'll see it, we're building a little farm at homestead from the ground up. This was just raw land when we bought it last September. So, I have my saw out here. That's what I'm going to be working on. Um, so we have all of this here is walnut. This was a big walnut tree. Big K's got to do some research to figure out about where he wants to burn that walnut. Get out of there. And so we're going to keep that separate from this, which is all the stuff that we went and picked up from the corner of the yard yesterday with Clarence the tractor. So I said get out of there. Go. Go on. So I will show you what else we got done. Oh, the sun's making my eyes water. Mmm. So this is going to be my quarter acre, I think we figured out is what it is, garden. And I can have more if I want more, big case says. So we'll have to see how that works out. My plan <clears throat> is to sell produce, chicken, eggs that can help people. I want to be somebody that can provide very nutrient dense food so that people with autoimmune diseases and stuff have somewhere they can go to get nutrient dense food to try to get rid of their illnesses. So uh, we got the stairs up there. That's the attic staircase. It's going to go in this rafter bay so that it lines up with the back door. And then, oh, we got these benches set up. So we got one is up there already and one is right here. So I can show you this one. We got this little, I believe it's a Werner, Warner, Werner bench. Um, it's like a platform and the two, the one upstairs and this one can hook together to make a longer platform. But it's fairly sturdy. It's got a nice little carry handle. Uh, seems good. Big K made me get up on top of it at different levels and like shake on it. And it seemed fairly sturdy, so we'll see. But that's what's up for the day. Oh, I think I need some chainsaw in my life. I believe that we are going to go out for dinner tonight and then we really got to cook up the steaks that we have in the next couple of days. So that's what's up. Doing things that gotta be done <clears throat> to get them over with. This tree is going to take me a while. Big case still trying to decide if he's gonna get a bigger chainsaw than the little one that we have. The Okay, so I guess this would be the little one. And then we have a medium one. And then he's trying to figure out if he wants to get another one that's bigger or not. I don't know. Not my, not my baby, but no idea. I told him to just do it, but I think he should just do it. That's not me. I don't know nothing about it, so. So, I guess I will set you guys up out here with me and you guys can 
be here while I do some chainsawing and then, I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna show putting the staircase in because I don't wanna, I don't wanna look guinea piggish on camera. I just wanna tell you that I failed afterwards. After I failed and I fixed it. <laughs> thing is slick. I like this thing. finding is it kind of kicks a little bit with the smaller stuff but I mean it's a high powered thing for the small stuff maybe that's just a me problem Makes a quick work for what I was doing before. Man, what I was doing before kind of sucked. I was taking all of this and up to a certain point, I was just breaking it and piling them up. It took forever. Hey, Benny. What are you doing, buddy? Come on. I shouldn't be this proud of these little piles of wood, but it's just taking off longer than I feel it should have. So here's that. Come here, pal. I'm gonna get on. <clears throat> We have a, they call them groundhogs here. I think. Groundhogs? Yeah. We have, I'll show you. So you can actually see 
what he's going after when I have to yell at him all the time. He's wagging his tail because he knows what I'm doing. Um, so there's this fence line here. You can see the T posts. There's barbed wire between them. But a tree fell on it, so you can't really follow the barbed wire. But there's a hole there. See that hole on the other side of the fence? That is one of the biggest groundhogs anybody around here has ever seen. And I believe that we've seen him come up here, up at that other house, over here, and there must be a tunnel somewhere that goes to the other side of the road over there. But this little guy is bound and determined to find him and she likes to chase him. So I'm assuming that pretty quick here, Mr. Groundhog's not gonna be around with us anymore. There's a lot of people that are not a fan of him because he does, he digs like ankle breaking holes in your yard. That one's not so bad because it's in a bush, but there's one over here by the ditch on the other side of the road. Where if you were like a kid and you were supposed to not be walking on the road, you break your ankle in that thing. So, I don't know. Somebody, we got plenty of dogs. Somebody's dog's going to get them. I'm sure. So, all right. Well, I'm going to continue to do this. If Big K comes out and decides to... Hey! Read the directions for me. Benny! Ben! Come here! Come here! Um, if Big K decides to come out and read the directions for me and help me put the stairs up maybe we'll put some stairs up or we'll just cut some probably have him cut the insulation board and then I'll put it up that'll be our plan get over here quit barking there's no barking in baseball so that'll be the plan for the day I hope y'all are having a good day I hope y'all had a great Christmas and I hope y'all have a fantastic new year. On your way back down the hill, if you wouldn't mind liking, sharing, subscribing, hitting that little bell notification button down there. That would be wonderful. I would greatly appreciate it. I appreciate y'all.